So now we finally come to the last Avashta in this series of videos I'm doing on Venus Avashtas. And this is the, the best one uh, overall. This is the proud Avashta of Venus or the Garvita Vashta. So as you can assume, this placement makes one proud of all things Venusian in their life. This is a great technique to know also for Vargas. So anytime Venus is uh, in, in these places in the Vargas, it is also true. What places are these? So this happens when Venus is in exaltation throughout all of Pisces. And then when it's in Libra, but only, it's really when the sign, anytime a planet is proud, it's when it's in its exaltation or Mula Tricona. So that's the basic rule. So for Venus, it is when it is in the first 15 degrees of Libra. That's where it's proud, not the second 15. Right now, Libra is in, sorry, Venus is in Libra, but it's at like 25 degrees or something. So it's not, it's in its own home. It's not in the Mula Tricona place. So Venus is not proud right now, but when a planet is in its own sign, it's shvashta, which means, you know, self-abiding or like content and secure and confident in your own self. So it's still very great. So if you have Venus in Taurus or in the other 15 degrees of Libra, that's still really great, but it's just to get it truly proud, it has to be, according to Prasher, it has to be in Pisces or at the uh, first 15 degrees of Libra. And of course, the closer it is to the deep exaltation of 27 degrees Venus and Pisces, of course, the better it is. So what's cool is though, this will work out in Vargas as well. So your Venus may be wherever in your Rashi chart, but you might have it in one of these places in a Varga. So if it's in Pisces in another Varga, you can be proud of, let's say Venus is exalted in their Trim Samsha chart. That's the chart of misfortunes and difficulties and health issues. If Venus is there, Venus is the planet of uh, Virya and vitality and re actually rejuvenation is really critical for Venus. Venus is actually the, you know, in mythology is said to be able to bring the, the demons back to life or, you know, bring back the dead through the San Giovanni Vidya and the mantras and all that stuff. Um, and so what's really cool is that uh, if, if Venus is in your D30 chart and it's exalted or in proud in Libra, then one will can, can bring back the dead in their body and can rejuvenate very, very well. You know what I mean? So a person can get a, a really tough health issue, but because of that good Venus there, they can rejuvenate very quickly, you know? So that's one way they can feel proud. And another reason why Venus deals with rejuvenation is because Venus rules the water element, which is the element of generation. And that brings me to another important point. So <clears throat> really, since Venus is the water element, one will be proud of, you know, what they've generated, you know, in their life and how they can rejuvenate and regenerate other things. And... Uh, you know, water is also the element of like softening and lubricating and comforting. So you'll be proud of how you've been able to do that in people's lives. Um, so this is a really great, really great placement. You know, other things could still interfere with it and get in the way. And actually, it's rare that you'll only have one of Ashta going on. And in, you know, my entire life, I have Ketu and Libra, I, lo I love these Venusian things. And so uh, since I've learned these of Ashtas back in like the beginning of 2012, I think, there's only been like, you know, weeks, maybe two months out of the entire time since then that Ve that I have been able to notice that Venus has been, wow, in just a nice, proud of Ashta and nothing terrible going on for it. It's very, very rare. Most of the time, so when Venus is exalted, you know, most of the time something else is going on, you know, um, there would, you know, there, there's, just, there's just always a lot of things going on in life. So it's very rare and it's very special if you have this Venus proud in a Garvita Vashta. It's a very, very nice thing. Um, and they, you know, like basically this gives the most fulfilling life overall. This is one of the best things in a, in a birth chart to get a really fulfilling life. And Parashara, you know, explains that Venus is the greatest benefic, you know, and, uh, you know, the most splendid and most lovely and beautiful and all these things. And so... If you have this Venus proud, you'll be more like that. There will be a con part of your consciousness that's more, most splendid and, you know, lovely. And you're probably going to be more beautiful, if, at least if it's your ruling planet. If not, there's someone else in your life who's really beautiful. But there's probably still a lot of beauty to you as well. Um, or, 
how do I say that? I don't know, it sounds weird, but um, yeah, just good Venus makes one more beautiful in life and the people they attract. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like life is just overall more fulfilling and because they made good choices. So again, like I was saying how Venus has to do with Rajaskuna of like me and what I'm doing. So when this placement, one will feel proud of the decisions that they have made. Overall, uh, I actually just did a reading for someone like within the last week who had this Venus prowl, but it was actually interesting because it was with Jupiter and the sun. So it was agitated by the sun and also starving sun. And also it was delighted by Jupiter, but then it was, you know, hurting that Jupiter. It was strongly starving Jupiter because Jupiter is starved by Venus. So there, and then because Jupiter was the Lord of Rahu in this chart, there were still all these problems because of that Jupiter being starved and being Lord of Rahu. There was all these problems with this person being able to make important decisions and move forward in their life. And so, again, like you still need to know the whole chart, know everything. But this one proud Venus thing, this is great if you can if you have that. And you'll typically make decisions that you know the decisions are like the scales of Libra, weighing the options. And you'll. If you have a good, if you have this proud Venus, then you have a good connection to your heart and your real essence. And so you'll make decisions that suit that, you know what I mean? And that are more in line with your highest good. So, um, yeah, this is the placement that makes one, you know, make decisions that just make them happier in the long run, make them more fulfilled. And they usually have like better good taste with things like good taste with art, you know, good senses, good sensibility to them. You know, that's just a quality of Venus. Um, Jamini says Venus is having a hundred senses, you know what I mean? So the, they're just very aware of, of that, you know, what looks right, what looks off, fashion, these sorts of things. Um, so they like, they value, you could say that they value things like correctly and very accurately when you have this Venus so maybe you don't have this in your birth chart, but you have it in a certain Varga, you know? Um, and you have it in maybe the Chaturtamsha, the D4, and so you're like an appraiser of homes, you know what I mean? And you, you're good at valuing and evaluating the, the wealth of a home and the value of a home. That could be one way this would work out. Um, yeah, so if you're, you know, in relationships, this means that, you know, if you're a man, you will make decisions, you'll understand your partner better, and you'll make decisions that, like, put you in better relationships and support them better, and you'll be really proud of how you handle your relationships, basically, in life, or you'll be proud of your wife. In other words, you'll be like, oh, I'm super blessed, I'm luckiest man alive, you know, that sort of thing. And if you're a woman, you'll still be very, very proud of your relationships, um, and have better relationships with people across the board, and especially with those of members of the opposite sex. Um, and so it kind of just, uh, oh, and it's also very cool how the muscles, the, 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 the tone, the muscle tone of the body is always a lot more filled in and, and, you know, attractive and, and they keep, tend to keep their muscle tone very well when Venus is proud, I've noticed. So, uh, this is a great, great position. It's great to have any planet proud. Venus, the greatest benefic, so much the better, you know, if you have that proud, um, even in one Varga or something, that can be really great. So, um, so yeah, this this concludes the Avashtas of Venus that I've done. And Venus is about to go back direct tomorrow. So, I don't know why. I just felt like going over all these. It wasn't really planned. It just kind of started happening. But I might go over some more of the Avashtas. Uh, Mercury is about to go retrograde. So, maybe I'll go and explain some of Mercury's Avashtas next. Uh, if there are any questions about any of these with the Avashtas, you know, now's the time to ask. Make sure you've watched all the previous videos on Venus. And, yeah, let me know if there's anything I didn't cover because this stuff can be complicated. And I will make video, I will make another video now where I go through examples of charts. You know what I mean? And so now you've seen the different, you know, I've described the different placements of Venus and what that will do. And so really now for the rest of all the videos I make, I can talk about that and you'll get it. But I will make a particular video on examples of various Avashas Venus has. Okay, thanks you guys.